Every day you wake up, you will make a decision as to what your attitude is. Every time you have an interaction with a customer, you will decide how you feel and how you will react to what they say and what they do. Every situation you deal with, you will decide how you feel about it and how it will affect the rest of your day. Your attitude decides how successful you are and what your customer and you decide what your attitude is. The end result is you decide how successful you are. The decision is going to be up to you. So how is your attitude? How is it right now? How was it yesterday? How is it going to be an hour from now? Wait, you say an hour from now? How can I know that? I'll tell you how. Because you have already made the decision what your attitude is going to be for the day. Regardless of the events and circumstances which may occur, you may not have any control over the external events which happen. Things like how your customer feels or what they have experienced in the past. But there is one thing you do have control over your attitude. However, there is one thing you can willingly give up control of and give to someone else. Yes, your attitude. You decide. You see, most people go through life with a stinky attitude. Maybe a customer says something negative about your product or the organization. Maybe the corporate office makes a decision you don't like and you adopt an attitude of indifference and rebellion. Maybe a prospect doesn't buy from you and your attitude towards them makes them feel as if they are stupid. All of these things will affect you and your customer. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Here's an idea. Why not work on your attitude? Let me tell you about Charlie, a client that I worked with. He was a jewelry retailer who ran a business that had been in the family for three generations. The staff was happy and Customers love to visit the store. For as long as anyone could remember, the current owner and previous generations of owners were extremely positive, happy people with great attitudes. Now, most people assumed it was because they ran a successful business. The fact is, it was the other way around. A tradition in the business was that the owner always wore a big lapel badge saying, Business is great! The business was indeed generally great, although it went through tough times like any other business. What never changed, however, was the owner's attitude and the badge saying, business is great. Everyone who saw the badge for the first time invariably asked, what's so great about business? Sometimes people would also comment that their own business was miserable or even that they personally were miserable or stressed out. Although, the business is great badge always tended to start the conversation, which typically involved the owner talking about lots of positive aspects of business and work. For example, the pleasure of meeting and talking with different people every day. The reward that comes from helping customers have wonderful experiences. And the thought that everyone they served were blessed because there are many more people who go elsewhere and not get the excellent service the store provided and he knew that his customers would tell their friends and they would come to the store and their friends would end up thanking them. You see, he realized no matter how miserable a person was, they'd usually end up feeling a lot happier after just a couple of minutes listening to all the infectious enthusiasm and positivity. It is impossible to quantify or measure attitude like this, but to one extent or another, it's probably a self-fulfilling prophecy. Here's the bottom line. The attitude comes first. The minute, the day, the week, the month, the year of the customer will follow. The great business will follow. Your fulfilled life will follow. What is your attitude like? Make that decision now.